came into the program as a sculptor and you work with a lot of um, objects that have their own history and look used as well as a lot of things that seem to come from construction. That's right. Yeah, for me, it's interesting thinking about objects, like how they uh, have like different connotations and associations. And then that leads also the way how I get the objects and like how I'm interested in objects that have been used, that they already have a history, objects that speak about something in a way. Mm -hmm. And a lot of like the consumables and food and what's left over. In a way, objects live in society, I guess. And I I will say that they become like a portrait of that society and they come from different timelines. There are objects that are like 100 years old versus an object that was mass produced recently a couple of years ago. By having them in balance, they are like now, they are all here now, they're like in, in relation. Those traces speak about past and future and they speak about something that has happened and something that will happen. And so there is like those questions of values and like, what do we keep, what do we discard and why do we discard something? Well, and I think this idea, this portrait of a society through these objects that are cast away or that are ubiquitous also is like an archaeological kind of process. I love the piece that you have created between the studio walls and then incorporating the window as well, but that you've used these buckets to span the room, but to create this tension. It became like an opportunity to have like that contrabalance actually going out of the window to the world and having like that wheel hanging. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I feel like in every piece, every single element, it's necessary. Yep. In terms of they're all doing something in time and space. And if they were not there, everything else will have to change in a way. That's a sort of beautiful, holistic idea. <laughs> I love the idea that objects might uh, reveal to you something that you didn't know you desired. Yeah. <laughs>